Libra. It's your word on the street for the week. Whoa. Okay. The Knight of Cups just flew out and upright. Let me see what flew on the floor. That's way too many. Putting those back. Okay. I do see the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Along, is that the King of Pentacles? Dang! Okay. Hold on. We had the Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Wheel. Woohoo! Whether you're a feminine or masculine Libran, if you're a masculine Libran, there's a Queen of Cups energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That feels left out. If you're a Divine Femme Libra, you have a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine energy, feeling left out of your destiny, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I will go ahead and read the cards that flew to the floor. All right, we're putting them back in, though. The Knight of Cups. Someone wants to take you out, Libra. Wine and dine. Roses. With a white horse. They feel spiritually guided, spiritually led to you. And with the high priestess that was at the bottom, um, they feel your connection to the divine. They feel like out of all these phonies, wannabes, phony wonies, <laughs> I make up the silliest word. All the phony wonies and the petty betties, you know, you're nothing like them. You're different. The high priestess. What's this one card? It keeps wanting to pop out. Mm-hmm. Oh, we. Five of swords. Libra. The people that do feel left out from your energy are almost in like a state of denial with this Five of Swords. Because they listened to what others had to say. You see the crow in his ear and he's like, make it stop. Just stop the negativity. Someone could be literally, this is like mental torture, Five of Swords. Someone could feel the imagery, at least. Mentally tortured by a, a battle that they put themselves in against you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You didn't ask for it. They inserted themselves in your life, expected something out of you, listened to others about you, and now they're feeling defeated and mentally tortured by negative energy because you can see so clear Ace of Swords. At the bottom. With your eyes closed, you can still see. The pineal gland is illuminated. Your third eye is fully open, awakened. And 
And once you unlock that gland, <laughs> once you unlock that gland and it decrystallizes and uh, decalcifies, once you decalcify your pineal gland, it's almost like you enter into this genius mentality. You're given the answers to things and they're correct. Your clairaudient abilities flourish. <laughs> Talk about growing and flourishing. It could all be under the wraps right now, though. Like, under wraps is what I'm hearing. Because all the pentacles in that seven of pentacles were under the ground. The chariot. You're letting spirit lead the way, Libra. Giddy up. Letting spirit lead the way because he holds no reins to those horses. Spirit leads this chariot. Let's see in the book what this beautiful... Oh my god, this is like one of my favorite cards in this deck. It's so gorgeous. You're not afraid to go your own way. It looks like a... Like a... Like a a gypsy tiny home. I love it. I want it. Let's see. The chariot. <laughs> Victory. Speed in action. Determination. Harnessing and uniting opposing energies. Success, travel, confidence, willpower, and control. You have that ability, Libra. It's one of your abilities, for sure. To bring people together, back together, to find a common ground... The scales, Libra, we balance, like we can, that's why we're such good counselors. We can see both points of view. And because of that, you're able to harness and unite opposing energies, the dark and the light. Use them to your benefit. There may be some confusion abroad, I'm hearing. The chariot does speak about travel. There may be some confusion around you on whether you work for the light or the dark. Word on the street about Libra. <laughs> The Magician, another major arcana. Again, do you work for the light or the dark? Are you a light witch or a dark witch? If you're not a wish at a wish, if you're not a witch <laughs> at all, they want to know who you get your power from. How you get your power with the magician and the hanged man at the bottom. See how her crown chakra is illuminated. Enlightenment. Where do you get your magics? Some people could realize it's because you took on the energy of the hanged one. And you put in 
the sacrifice. And I don't mean any type of harmful sacrifice, like hurting an animal or someone. I don't mean that at all. When I talk about the sacrifice that's made with the hanged one card, it's about putting those needs above the wants. Like, and as obvious as that sounds, it's about taking yourself out of the equation for a while, learning yourself, not afraid to be alone, not afraid to research, not afraid to look silly. I mean, they're hanging upside down on like a yoga swing. Some people realize it's because you did what others couldn't do or what others were afraid to do. And that's why you're so magical. It's almost like you did the impossible. One more tarot card and then we're going to move on to the fortune and the kipper. Word on the street about Libra this week. Five of Wands. And I did pick it up in reverse. <sighs> People are falling out, okay? Possibly because <laughs> of you, your angelic protection with the temperance at the bottom, angel energy. People are falling out because they couldn't bring down Libra, your earth angel energy. They're unsuccessful at trying to compete with you. We don't compete. Or we don't compete, we complete. See all these people reaching for that, that fire. It's, it's people reaching for power. It's people reaching for magic. And it's like, it's not outside of yourself. It's within. The fool is behind temperance. And then we have judgment. And then we have the nine of pentacles and the seven of wands. You're not afraid to start over. The fool. You're not afraid of what people are going to say about you. And because of that, it's paying off. You remain protected. What's crazy is about this card. In the last live stream... And for whatever reason, I'm more, I seem to be more susceptible to the energies in a live stream rather than a pre-recorded reading like this. And, um, I had a strange dream after that live stream the other day and this card came out and I said, there's a, they're trying to attack your solar plexus because that's the only chakra in this card illuminated. See? See? Her solar plexus right here. I had a dream. I had a fight. And then I woke up and I kid you not, it felt like I had done a hundred crunches. My solar plexus and my stomach, it still is sore. That's so bizarre. Like I can touch it right now and legit, it's still sore. Protect yourself, Libra. 
protect your chakras, protect your energy, which is your inner G. Like I went to war that night in my dreams and my solar plexus is still sore. Like you would have thought I did. I'm saying I'm feeling like a hundred sit-ups, a hundred crunches. Like that's what it felt like when I woke up and I'm like, what the? And then I thought back to the live stream and I thought back to when this card came out. And then I thought back to where I said, oh, protect your solar plexus. They're trying to attack it, which is the plexus of your personal power. You know, your sun, solar. Okay. Thought I'd share that interesting story with you guys. It doesn't matter. Whoever sent that attack, don't think like, oh, <laughs> I won. I affected her. You just made me go even harder in my spiritual protection. So the next attack isn't going to touch me at all. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we're starting with the talisman. You are destined to succeed, Libra. What's the word on the street about Libra? Where are we at? 16 minutes, day. What's the word on the street about Libra? We, your luck will soon change. And I'm just now noticing the jewel scarab beetle with the phoenix wings in the middle of this cat, almost like it's like where its heart chakra would be. That's wild. I just saw a cat uh, last night, random. It was dark, dark gray. Beautiful cat. Something that was previously blocked, okay, with hindrance at the bottom. That's going to open up. The Sphinx. Okay, the power of the tongue and the power of silence is a big, big theme right now, right now for you, Libra, okay? Just to show you the Sphinx, choose your words carefully. There's a lot of jealousy around you. That's nothing new, but just to let you know. Okay, the raven, I've been seeing them a lot lately, talks about darkness, okay? But at the bottom, the hand of fate, the hand of God intercedes. It says, forces beyond your control intervene. It's like, talk to the hand. Oh my gosh, I have not heard that in how many years? How many years? Spirit is literally telling the darkness to talk to the hand. Ooh, oh my gosh. What time is it so I can run that back? Just in case I forget a good uh, title to the video. Talk to the hand. <laughs> oh, one more. One more. Stick it to him, divine. Stick it to him. The siren. Don't let imagination uh, cloud your judgment when it comes to a temptation. 
Libra. Somebody may be trying to tempt you. Let's use the Kipper. Who's trying to tempt Libra? Who's trying to tempt Libra? Temp. I said temp. Interesting. It could be somebody that works at like a temporary type of work service. Who's trying to lead Libra astray? And why? Let's see. Let's ask the Kipper. Whoop! Because you're taking off. Distant horizons. Because your life seems like a dream. Or it will be. It looks that way to others. It's like the, the Peter Pan ship. It's like a ship made of dreams. And that's your ship, Libra. We have official person at the bottom. 22. I've been seeing 2 2. Two, 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 two. Could be somebody that holds power in the physical sense. Mm -hmm. They want to courtship you. They want to seduce you. Jeez, Louise. They could even tempt you with a home. What's Libra's advice here? What's Libra's advice here? Libra. <laughs> Got the Libra adjudication card as your advice. Put your thinking cap on. What the freak? I've never noticed this before. What? Okay, I've had this deck for like a year. And I promise you, how many times have we used this kipper? Put your freaking thinking cap on, Libra, before you make a decision. And don't let anyone uh, scare you or bribe you or tempt you, okay? Look at his hair. The judge. It looks like a brain. And I literally just heard, just going to have to use your brain. Put your thinking cap on. Let's end it off with the channeled message. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, three cards. First card out. Never forget it, Libra. You're a survivor. You're a warrior. Fight, defend. Powerful will. Ooh, it's an Agent Smith. This Agent Smith is toxic or she is cray. They have problems. Doctor appointment. Mental, deceptive. So they could need a doctor appointment for their mental. Or they could have some type of STDs, Libra. Another reason not to be tempted into this courtship. Or into having any type of uh, activities with them. And don't forget... Belief is the most powerful force in our universe next to love. If you enjoyed your word on the street reading, Libra, it's all the time different, usually. And guess who didn't come out this week? The mature woman. Wow. How interesting.
I just thought of her. She did not make her appearance. Nice. Different messages this week. I hope you found one. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Stay balanced. Stay blessed. Peace.